It was a bitter pill to swallow for the South African football fans when Senegal ended any hopes of a fourth appearance at the World Cup. The result meant the Lions of Taranga would return to the event after a 16-year absence and will take all their stars to Russia. For former national captain Bongani Kamalo, it's a great chance for the African nations to showcase their caliber on the global stage, even though Bafana Bafana won't be there. First prize, you know, first prize obviously, you know, want all, all, all African teams to, to do well and progress. Um, you know, obviously uh, 2010, Ghana had a very, very good chance of, of, of really, really doing well. Unfortunately, things didn't work out. Um, with this one, again, an opportunity, such a wonderful opportunity. You know, we have some top, top African players playing in Europe right now and, and it'll be a great opportunity for, for, for all of those countries to do well. The team making only their second appearance at the World Cup possess some of the biggest names in football, but making sure they play as a unit will be a challenge coach Alou Sisse, who played at the event 16 years ago, will be eager to overcome. There will be a dark horse. Uh, the problem sometimes with teams that have got too many individual star players, I mean if you go to Europe you can, uh, the last World Cup, uh, a lot of people had expected that Belgium will do well, but they didn't. Senegal is a similar team coming from Africa. They've got top quality individual players at almost every position. But what is going to be key is how they are going to be molded together. Some feel that individual talent might not be enough for the West African giants, will be eager to progress from a daunting Group H that includes Poland, Japan and Colombia. Senegal, Sadio Mane, they've got Cheku Kuyate, they've got a lot of, quite a few players playing in the English Premier League and they've got players playing all over Europe. Um, they've got the, they, they're a strong team. Um, I don't think an African team will go beyond the quarterfinals at this World Cup. I think there's too much strength elsewhere. In the past, some African teams have been blighted by contract disputes and poor preparations. But this time, Senegal and the other four nations appear to have avoided any stumbling blocks and look motivated to do battle in Russia. It's going to be you know, interesting to see which team can go there, prepare and fight and make sure that they at the least or finally we can have an African team in the semi-finals. The 2002 FIFA World Cup quarter-finalists possess the talent and the motivation to progress from their group. And although getting past the likes of Poland, Japan and Colombia will be a tall order and test the depth and determination of the team ranked 28th in the world, they can't be written off as just a team making up the numbers. They will be dark horses to become Africa's first team to reach the semi-finals of the World Cup. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.